personal hotspot on the iPhone. We want to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and enable it and also how to get around those data limits so you can go ahead and use it as much as you want. So we're going to go ahead and do that today and I hope you enjoy this because I know a lot of people like to use the personal hotspot. Basically if you don't know what a personal hotspot is you kind of consider it like turning your phone into a wireless router so people can connect to your phone and use your data just like you would a wireless router. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. Today we're going to go through and show you how to set this up on the iPhone here. And I hope you're really excited. If you do enjoy this video, please make sure to go through and hit that like and don't forget to subscribe. With that said, let's go ahead and just jump right in on this. So what we want to do is go ahead and choose settings and then we'll go to personal hotspot. Here you are going to have a crazy Wi-Fi password, really long. You can go ahead and tap on it and you can change it. It does have to be at least eight characters. I usually cycle mine between certain word with a number at the end. We're doing hotspot one here. So once you turn this on, you'll be able to go ahead and connect things like laptops, iPads, anything you need to that needs an internet connection. With that said, you do have to have this allowed through your carrier because it does cost extra and they do charge you depending on what your plan is. So for me, what I want to do is if I want to go ahead and make this unlimited, you're going to get a, you know, certain plan where they're like, hey, here you go. It's X amount. You get unlimited data. Not really. They usually cap you around 22, 23 gigs a month and then they slow you down and it seems like sometimes they slow you down they don't speed you back up the next month like they're supposed to so let's go ahead and show you a workaround to go ahead and use this so we want to go ahead and just swipe up here there are a bunch of different apps out there that are vpn you've probably heard of like nord vpn i know that's a popular one that's marketed a lot and there's a bunch of free ones online. I went with Proton VPN, not a sponsored video, as I said in a similar video. It's just one that I used, seemed to work, had good reviews, and yeah, let's go ahead and just click on it. Basically, what this does is it makes the carrier think the data is from someone else, and because of that, they're unable to track your exact data. So you want to go ahead and choose where you're going. We're going to go to the US and we're going to look for the workload here. The lower the workload, the better the connection. But you also want to keep in mind about how far away they are as well. So let me go through and look here. And where can we go? New York City's not too far. So we'll go ahead and choose this one with 33. So it's going to connect here. So at first you do get with Proton VPN, you get like a free month service. So you can go ahead and have access to servers like this. After that, it does go to a free version where you can still connect, but you can only connect to two different servers in the US, which is fine. It's not a problem. I had that in a different account, but I forgot my password, so I just created a new account and now I got new time. <laughs> so now we're connected. So now as we use our personal hotspot, the carrier is not going to be able to detect how much data is coming down through that and associate it with the correct person. So that is how you go ahead and get it connected. You do want to be careful with this and check majority of vpns will work but there may be some that don't so just keep track of your data you can go into like your usage and check that just to make sure that it's not using more data than it says it's using but with that basically the vpn does all the hard work for you and covers it up and you should be able to go ahead and use the personal hotspot with unlimited data Thanks for the view, and you may also be interested in this video. It dives a little deeper into this, and you might be able to get a little more information if you're still not 100% filled in.